raise some money for one film on the show, eh? or the downfall of the show. So I went. Just out of the blue, you, I mean, not. But it's just, well, like, yes and no. I mean, this is my rap in life. Sounds a little impulsive. Uh, I always said Elijah okay. uh, hit me with a. Um, well, I think it was. Um, uh, I think uh, another two things had happened at that time. I had seen um, Roots on TV, and it was totally, totally engaged with Roots, and feeling, you know, and read about the whole Roots thing. And I also had seen Holocaust on TV, you know, the five episodes. And I think those two miniseries had a profound effect on me. That you know now it was time to do my roots, mm -hmm. and that's what the book and those two things. You know, this is actually a speech I sometimes give about what got me going on my filmmaking. I also had the uncle that survived Auschwitz that was very wealthy. They gave me the initial money. I went to him and I said, "This is what I want to do," mm -hmm. and he said, "I'll, I'll support mm -hmm. it." Okay, so now from, from then, now you, you've said that your mission in life is to make films about, about okay. underknown Jewish heroes. Okay. So you know, it's interesting because. My friend asked me last night if I could have made the film we saw, Biddeful, about the underclass in Barcelona, this one with Javier Bardem. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. I, 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 for me, and I always say this once I've been able to articulate it, that my family as well as my people have been so devastated by war and fascism that I need to make the stories that are uplifting. Mm -hmm. You know, or to tell the stories of our heroes, mm -hmm. so the next generations can have those along as well as the devastation. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Aviva, what, what, what um, is the? You know, you look so intimately at other people's lives. Mm -hmm. What have you learned by examining their lives? Oh, uh, hmm, that's a good question. Um, talent has well. Talent has a lot to do with it. Um, for partisans, it was just, I think these p young youth were already politically organized, already a stepped away from being so closely bound with their family and just had this vision. And I think people, all, you know, all my characters have vision. For the partisans, it was that the Nazis intended to kill everyone. And they actually read that you know, from an Armenian example in 40 Days of Masadak or what had happened to the Armenians. And they said, we got to do something, we have to organize something. For Hank Greenberg, it was this raw talent, but this drive to keep on going and not let anything bother him. Uh, for uh, Gertrude Berg, it was, you know, this vision about a family sitcom, a story about her family or, or how she perceived her ideal family would be would work, you know, and it did, because it was a time of immigrants. Um, Julius Rosenwald felt this responsibility of helping others because he had done so well, that you don't just make money, but you give it away. Mm -hmm. $62 million in your home lifetime. Um, I also have co-written a script about this Native American activist, Larry Casus, who at the height of uh, Wounded Knee took act, had tried so much to change political conditions in New Mexico in the town he was from, Gallup, that he went and kidnapped the mayor of Gallup. And someone I knew, and I had no idea he was doing it, I had been helping him with his political work, and sort of this profile of someone gone astray, but yet it was to help his people. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think for each one of them, um, they were at the right time, at the right place, to make a difference but always this envision of, you know, um, a symbol of, you know, I guess Jews, you know, to, to, as Vicka said it, to, to choose how to die, not let the Nazis kill you, but to fight, mm -hmm. to at least be free Jews. For Hank it was, you know, I have as much right as anyone to use my brawn to do well, I have to honor my religion. Yes, I know I'm a hero, but you know, I, I'm also a damn good baseball player. And for Gertrude Berg, it was this vision of what was entertainment, which has lived on and no one gave her credit for the, you know, the first Emmy, the first sitcom, you know, to keep on going. For Julius Rosenwald is, I can do very well in business, but I need to help others.
This is what my rabbi has taught me. This is what I should do. And I think these are all the lessons. Mm -hmm. You know, these are people I'd like to know. Mm 